I used to talk to kids about the ant philosophy. Let me give you a couple of clues now about the ant philosophy. Here's number one, ants never quit. If they're going somewhere and you stop them or block their pathway, they'll look for another way up, down, all around. How long will they keep looking? Till they find another way. See, that's, that's good philosophy, the ant philosophy. Here's another one. Ants think winter all summer. That's why ants appear to be in a hurry all summer. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Why? Winter, winter, winter. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The clock is running out. Time is running out. Hurry, hurry. Get the food. Bring it back. Get the food. Bring it back. Winter's almost here. Hurry, hurry. See, that's good philosophy. So have you got that note now? Be like the ants. Think winter in the summer. Don't think summer in the summer and get faked out. Look how lovely and look how nice. See, that's getting faked out. Ants don't do that. They think winter all summer. Now here's the next one. You got to think summer all winter. In the winter, you got to say, we won't be in here long. We'll soon be out of here. We'll be out there working and gathering more food and providing for the future. This winter won't last long. We'll soon be out of here. So the key is to think summer in the winter and think winter in the summer. Now, if somebody needs help on this, you've got to learn how to put it in such a way. And giving them the ant story is one of the best. Think winter in the summer and then think summer in the winter. Think negative when it's positive and then think positive when it's negative. Isn't that a challenge? The answer is yes, that's a challenge, but that's life. That's the deal. How often does winter follow fall? Every year. Years ago, I did a series of lectures for Chevron dealers and their management. All over America, even up in Alaska and over in Hawaii. When I first started giving them this series of lectures, the management and uh, some of the leaders of the Chevron uh, Corporation called me in and we had a nice talk. And they said, well, first of all, Mr. Rome, we'd like to get acquainted. And uh, we've heard about your presentation and we think you might be able to share some good ideas. And they said, by the way, you travel the world and right, you know a lot of corporate executives and you've been in business for a long time all around the world. They asked me, what do you think the next 10 years are going to be like? And I said to them, gentlemen, you have asked the right person. So their eyes lit up. I said, I do have experience. I have traveled the world and I've lived a long time and I really know the deal. And here's how the next 10 years are going to be. About like the last 10. <laughs> right. Winter follows fall. Some are easy and some are hard. Some are difficult and some are simple. And then spring follows winter. It, for how many years now? Six thousand years of recorded history. So it isn't going to change. Here's the essence of life. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's about as simple as you can put it. From the beginning, 